ערב טוב רבותיי, it says in the פרקי אבות, we read פרקי אבות now after Pesach, right? we're going to start reading פרקי אבות until שבועות. So one of, the, one of the important things that it says over there, עשה לך רב. You know what this means? עשה לך רב. It says, it means, uh, it means, find yourself a rabbi. You understand? Okay. So what does that mean? That everybody, everybody should have a rabbi. Somebody that he asks questions, you know, to halakha, is this allowed, this is not allowed, you know, can I do this, can I do that? You have to find a rabbi, everybody has to have the rabbi. A person doesn't have a rabbi, you know, the Rambam says, right, that he can fall into all kinds of problems, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing. It's like a person, you know, Lo'aleinu, he's blind, you know, he doesn't know where he's going. This way, that way, he doesn't know what he's doing, so he's going to get into trouble, Lo'aleinu. You know, that's a big problem. Don't, the person doesn't have a rabbi. So you got to have a rabbi. That's what it says. But it says in the Talmud, Masechet Shabbat, Samech Gimel, it says over there something interesting. The question is, you know, what kind of rabbi should you have? There's many kinds of rabbis, you know. There's uh, 108, Yellowstone, right, Queens Boulevard. We have all kinds of rabbis, right? This rabbi, that rabbi. Which rabbi is a good rabbi? How do you know he's, he's a good rabbi? So it says in the Talmud, something like this, right? It says, Imu dome le malach Hashem tzavaot, what does that mean? You know what that means? That if, he, if he's like an angel, if he looks to you like an angel, Malach, you should learn from him Torah. Person like this. If he doesn't look like Malach, don't learn from him Torah. <laughs> this, is, this is what it says in the Talmud. So the question is, what does this mean? What, Rabbi looks like Malach? How does he look like a Malach? What, uh, he, wear, he, he, he keeps his legs together, you know, like one foot? You know, they say, right? Malachim have one foot only. They don't have two feet. They have one. So he keeps his legs together like we do on the Amidah. That's what it means. He looks like a Malach. What does that mean, Malach? What does that mean? So the answer is, right, that um, a Malach, you know, doesn't have Yetzirah. So whatever Hashem tells him to do, he does. Not like us, you know, we have Yetzirah. Sometimes we listen to Hashem. Sometimes we don't listen to Hashem. You know what I mean? Sometimes we do because of Yetzirah. But the Malach always listens to Hashem because he has no Yetzirah. You know, there were two Malachim, right, that came down from Shemaim, right, they came down, and when they came down, they got Yetzahara, so they didn't listen to Hashem, that's something else, I'm not talking about those Malachim, they came down over here, but I'm talking about the Malachim that are in Shemaim, those Malachim, whatever Hashem says, they do, they don't have Yetzahara, you know, so if you find a rabbi like this, this is what you need, what does that mean, he's like Malach, what does that mean, whatever Hashem tells him to do, he does, you know, he always follows the Halakha. Everything he does according to Halakha, you know? He has Irat Shemayim. You know? Fear of God. If you find a rabbi like that, listen to him. Learn from him Torah. If not, don't learn from him Torah. Why? Because if he doesn't have Irat Shemayim, he doesn't, he's not, he's not, he doesn't listen to words of Hashem, what could he teach you? To be like him? To do the same like him? Like he's, he does, you know, sins? And he wants you to also to do sins? To teach you? What, what do you need a rabbi like that for? You understand? So it has to be a rabbi... Who has irat shemayim? You know, somebody who does exactly what the halacha says. You know, there are some rabbis also who are hypocrites. You know, sviut. You know what that means? They teach you one thing. You know, yeah, do like this. But they themselves, they don't do. You know, like, like this. You understand? Okay. You, you know, yeah. Sometimes they don't do it. They teach you. Yeah, yeah. You have to do. Yeah. But him, you see. Then you see him. Oh, he's not. He's not doing like he like he taught us. You know, <laughs> he's he's doing something else. How can that be, right? So a person like this, you know, what kind of rabbi is that, right? One thing comes out of his mouth, but then he does something else. This is not, this is not a good rabbi. He's not, he's not like Malach. Malach is like a robot, you know, robot. Whatever, you press the buttons, he does. That's it. Chuk, 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 chuk. Program, right? That's it. He does it. Like a computer. You know, that's it, right? That's what it means to, that's what it means to, to be a Malach, to be like a Malach. That's what it means. So, Okay, interesting, right? But says the Gemara over there something interesting about this. It says that there's, you know, sometimes you find two kinds of rabbis, you know? Two types. Right? Uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you what kind of types we're talking about. There's one rabbi, you know, he's very tough with you all the time. You know what I mean? He always t- telling you, don't do this, don't do, don't, do I, what are you doing? What, no, don't, 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 no, asur, asur. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. He's tough, you know? So he's like, you know, they say in the, in the Gemara, He's noken like a nachash. 
he's like a snake, you know? Like a snake, you know? When you when you anger the snake, he'll bite you, you know what I mean? He'll he'll remember that you angered him. So he'll come and take revenge on you. You know, like a snake, you know? A snake is a very vengeful animal. So if you see like a, a rabbi like this, who's like a he you know, he he'll take revenge on you, he'll always tell you, Don't do this, no, don't, don't do don't 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 why'd you do why'd you do this? This is the rabbi you should go to, a rabbi like this. You know, somebody who's like this, like this, you know, very strict with you, always telling you, don't do this, don't do You know why? Because a rabbi like that, what happens is that you learn a lot of halachot from him, you know? He teaches you everything. He tells you, even though sometimes it hurts your feelings a little bit, you know what I mean? So there's cold water in the back over there, you know, it hurts your feelings. Drink some cold water. What's the problem, you know? But he taught you a lot of things, a lot of halachot, because he cares about you. You know, he wants you to be a better Jew. So this is a good rabbi, you know? He's tough. Tough rabbi, you know? Tough one. You learn from him a lot of things. There's another type of rabbi, it says in the Talmud, just, just the opposite. You know, he's um, Amaretz and Hasid. That's what it says. What does this mean? Amaretz means he doesn't know Torah so good, you know? Doesn't know. Doesn't know Halakha. Doesn't, didn't, didn't learn Shulchan Ruch. He didn't learn Talmud. He didn't learn Bet Yosef. He didn't learn. You know? But it's Hasid. What does it mean, Hasid? He does, you know, Humrah, you know? Like... If, you know, something, he says, yeah, I'm machmir, you know, I, I do this machmir, everything machmir, strict, strict, stringent, you know, on himself, strict, sometimes he's stringent, he's strict, but he doesn't know halacha so good, you know, but it, sometimes he's very stringent. Hasid am aretz. He doesn't know, but he's Hasid. So, says in the Talmud, Rabbi like this, don't come close to him, you know, stay away from him. How we know? M- move. You see how he behaves, you know, you have to know a little bit of Torah to understand, right? You have to know a little bit. <laughs> So you, you know you know what this means? That he, this is a dangerous rabbi. That's what it says in the Talmud. He's dangerous. Why dangerous? Because he looks like he's Hasid, you know? He looks like Baba Sali, you know? Like he does everything strict, you know? Uh, some, some, some things. But, but he doesn't really know the Torah so good, you know? So he'll teach you the wrong halakha. He'll tell you, this is, this is like this, this is like this, and it's all wrong. You know? Because he doesn't know. I'm Aretz Hasid. You know? Like this, you know? So the rabbi, rabbi like this, is, stay away from him. Because... Even though he's, he looks like he's Kadosh, you know, uh, the way he dresses, you know, he puts on some, you know, nice clothing, you know, white, you know, this, and the, he puts on a turban, you know, on his head, you know, like the Ben Ishai, he puts on a turban, you know, he looks like Ben Ishai, you know, but he, he's not, he's not Ben Ishai, he's not Tamil Chacham, he's Amaret, but he looks like Hasid, you know, looks you know, strict, you know, uh, stay, like, stay away from him. Why? Because a rabbi like this, he doesn't know Torah so good, but he just looks good, you know, looks nice. But he's going to get you into trouble because he's going to tell you the wrong halakha. And when, oh, you, when you learn the halakha, I'm sorry? Oh, he got the stuff to Rabbi. If you only That's a very good question, what you're asking. You know what it is, right? Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, first of all, I have to tell you one thing. You know, we talked about this with my friend over here. What's your, what's your name, your first name? Boris. 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 I, sometimes I speak with him outside, you know, a little bit. So we spoke one day, you know, and we, we spoke about this issue. So, you know, the, the, always the, the way it works is like this, you know, that the keila that, the, you know, the, that there is, every keila, right? We have this keila, that keila, right? Uh, they, they get the rabbi that they deserve. If they're on a high level, you know, very religious Jews, you know, so Hashem gives them a very good rabbi, you know, very good quality rabbi. If, they're, if they don't care so much, they're not on a high level, very low. You know, they don't care about, they don't care about Torah, they don't care about Halakha. So Hashem gives them Amaretz Rabbi, you know, doesn't, that doesn't know nothing. You know, so you, Hashem gives you the leader like you deserve, you know. Like every Keilah gets what they deserve. This is what it is, you know. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's the way it works. <laughs> you get what you deserve in the end, you know what I mean. And same thing, by the way, also in politics, you know. When you get a president or, you know, also in Israel, right, Rosh Hashanah, you know, prime minister, no good. You know why? Because the people are also no good. That's why. You, why do you think? Why? It always the leader reflects the people. You know? Whatever the people are, the leader is also like that. The same. Same material. You know? This is, this is the way it works. So therefore, right, uh, if you want to, if you want to go to a higher level, what you got to do is, you know, become more serious and Hashem will give you a better rabbi. You know? Send you somebody better. You know? Uh, you'll find somebody who will teach you better in Torah. So the thing is like this, you know, that you want to be with a rabbi who's going to Teach you, you know, everything, you know, and he's not afraid of you. He's not gonna, he's not gonna say, oh, you know, this guy has some money, you know, so I'm afraid to, you know, to tell him anything, you know, to rebuke him, you know, to correct him, you know, because he's, he's not, he's gonna stop giving donations to the shul. No, if you're afraid like that, you're not a good rabbi. You have to tell him the truth. 
Doesn't matter how much money he's going to give you, how much donations, how much trumot, how much tzedakah he's going to give you. That doesn't matter. You have to tell him the truth, like it is. You know? And that's the way you have to be. A rabbi has to be a man of emet, you know, truth. Like a malach. So if he's like a malach, you have to be with him. If not, not, not. Baruch Adonai le'olam, amen, amen. Rabbi Hanani, 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 amen, amen.